Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. And as we look at this cluttered mess of icons, I continue to contemplate starting a new series. <laughs> for reasons that will become a little bit more clear, but uh, for now, for now, yeah, we are just going to continue on because I have a few things in mind. But first, I want to take a look at a little bit of a train jam up that we have this is a massive massive train jam up it all started with me coming down here to chula vista i wanted to see oh how many people are waiting here wow there's quite a lot of people here 86 on one direction 83 in the other direction and then it's like why aren't you going okay well you can't go because you can't go you can't go because, well, you can't go. You are stuck there. And uh, then you can't go. Okay, that's that. We have this one. Oh, it can't go. That one apparently can go. This one here, it can't unfortunately go. Same thing with these. Those can't go either. <laughs> uh, and then we get to here. Yeah, about that. But it gets even better because these ones that are going this way who are fully loaded and probably losing me money. Yeah, for the last year or two. Yeah, they're all stopped waiting. And this is probably the end line. Yeah, these are all bunched up now, which is rather unfortunate. Anyway, yeah, come back here. We have this one who's jammed up and then this one. This one doesn't want to go because Actually, if I were to have a signal there, let's put a signal here. Signal here. It's not going to affect what is the actual cause, but that train will be able to move, which means that this train, and do I not have a signal here? Oh, bother. Let's. The signal's right there. Oh, dear God. Yeah, let's get rid of that signal, because uh, that's a useless signal. Because then this thing wouldn't happen, and this line would be able to run. Well, that will solve that, at least. That'll get that at least going. And so those will be able to move. But we have another issue. That means moving into the station. Really? I guess you're going to have to wait for this one to clear the station. Well, what I'm going to do, we are going to put another signal Say right here. Now that one will move forward. But the problem ultimately is here. Because we have a passenger train that needs to get up that direction. It can't because of this train. And this train can't go that way because of this one. I don't know what I'm going to do to fix this other than sending you back the other direction you can go back the other direction which is why we of course have these turnarounds so if I can here yeah that will move out of the way which means this train will be able to move out of the way and as soon as it does I will flip this around that one's able to move 
Now we are going to come back here because I think this is the one. Alright about that. So those are going to finally be able to move. But I'm going to have to do something about this. Hmm. Yeah, about this. Well, one thing I can do. Since this is passenger, and passenger's here, this is freight. The obvious solution is to. We're going to build a bridge, and yeah, we're well. Rather, we're going to expand the bridge. Right there. This is going to be interesting. Now with that said, I could... Nah, I don't want to. Alright, I'm going to have to... Do something about this. All right, but uh, we are going to connect this up to here. And this up to here. And that is going back the other direction. That is actually fine. Should have done this a long time ago. And nice, we can fit it under there. Alright, so what I'm going to want to do, we are gonna flip this around since it can go back the other direction. And we no longer have. that uh, jam up there. Those trains will no longer interfere with one another. So that is good. Now, we have an issue here. Um, the only problem is we do have All these lines running into this station. What I'm going to do, we are going to upgrade this to six platforms. And then we are going to take this line and we're going to bring it into that line. Or those new sets of platforms. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this since, uh, yeah. <laughs> I should have had this 
connect it up to that and then have these. Yeah, about that. Anyway, um, we have... Ultimately, I don't think it really matters. Although we have this... Actually... What line is that? Gilbert Oil? Nope, not Gilbert Oil. We have... Oh, that's right, Miramar Cold Steel. Yeah, that definitely needs its own set of platforms. So what I'm going to do You know what? We're going to upgrade this again to seven tracks. Because reasons. And now... We are going to bring this in like that. And then this in like that. And we are going to bring this in like this. And now what we are going to do is we are going to use the double slip. Amazing. <laughs> First time I've ever used those, and that's the reason for it, at least that I can see. So that allows that to come in here. Perfect. Awesome. And so everything else. Um, oh, we have some broken lines here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we are going to that there or not To there. Oh, why is that? Oh, seriously? Wow. Epic fail. Seriously. No. Okay, well, I'm going to have to waypoint this up. And... I have no idea. Palm Bay Lumber, which is over here. I don't have the icons. Awesome. <laughs> That would help. All right. Palm Bay Waypoint one. Okay, no. Palm Bay Lumber. I'm actually going to get rid of those. Uh, nope, we want Those are depots. Yep, we want that. All right, so one Palm Bay Waypoint 6, or Waypoint number one, Cape Coral Goods, and then we want to come in through here. There we go. All right, how about that? 
So now, something I should have done a long time ago has been fixed. Question is... Yeah, this is just a pass-through. That should streamline things a little bit better. Although with that said... Uh, what lines are here right now at the moment? We got... Cape Coral, Logs and Steel, we've got Gilbert Oil, and Patterson Planks. The only thing stopping here is the Gilbert Oil. Patterson Planks is a pass through Cape Coral, Logs and Steel. So what I want is Gilbert Oil. You, I want you to come in through one of these. Palm Bay Refinery. We want you to come to Terminal 1. Uh, no, Terminal 1. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's a nice little feature. And what do we have here? Load if available. Full load any. And full load all. Okay. And unload only. Nice. All right about that. Everything looks to be good right now. Ultimately though, this was not what I planned the episode to be. Messing or changing or messing with uh, trains. What I wanted to point my attention to is if we take a look at the lines and we'll have to take a look at the road vehicles. I did get everything upgraded. One thing I'd like to do is go around and just make sure that all the vehicles are operating efficiently, let's just say. Some of these nice $8.7 million there. Cape Coral Goods. What's happening here? You're losing me through... 1.27 million dollars. Did something slow down? Oh. Maybe that train jam up caused some issues. Yeah, that would cause an issue if the trains were bogging down and couldn't move. Then, uh, yeah, product couldn't move either. So that is something. But that is not what I wanted to take a look at. We have the oldest vehicle, and uh, apparently this line never got upgraded. Great. Replace now. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. All right. We have one vehicle, the oldest vehicle on the map. Well, oldest road vehicle. It is RF over here, I'm pretty sure. If we, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? It is RF Toledo. It's running a freaking, <laughs> uh, was this a Ford Model T? Or Ford Model, whatever this is. What is it? What is it? It is 66 years old. It is a Ford Model 77. Oldest vehicle in, in the map. 
running costs are 27.4K per year. What does its finances look like? Wow. Well, it's making some money. But we are going to definitely be upgrading this because reasons. Replacement. Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, road vehicle. Let's follow it. Where is our truck going? Right in there. And... Are you upgrading? Did I replace now? I didn't. Oh, bother. Let's follow it again until it upgrades. Alright, so this line here, RF Toledo, I could definitely use a few more trucks online. Well, maybe. It all depends on what exactly is coming in here. Yeah, about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got some decent numbers here. But yeah, I wanted to check to see in the lines. The question is, are these vehicles... Yeah, I imagine these would be running. Maybe not. Do we have... Oh, nice! Cape Coral de... Uh, SV, that's uh, Simi Valley. Lots of icons. Lots of icons. So we don't have anything new, right? New Haven EP5, we got the MD GP9, the MD S9, SD40, AM7. I am disappointed. So what do I do then? What do I run instead? that is elect not not electric what are you doing you're taking your now that I can change up which platform these use Patterson dock terminal 2. Wait a minute. Patterson Gilbert. Riverside. Really? I don't come back to Gilbert. All right about that. So what I would like to do, we are going to change this up. We're going to do terminal one. And terminal no we want terminal one Ter terminal two terminal assignment not pop. what what um what did I mess up
Uh, nope. I want to... What is going on here? What? What? Oh well. Can I? Modification not possible. Can I turn this into... Can I turn it into navigable waters? Uh, right. About this. What happened here? Why? I'm assuming it's because this is disconnected. I don't know what's going on here. And now it's fine. What? There's all Gilbert Docks. Let's put it into Terminal 2. Okay, about that. That's weird. The line is otherwise fine. Yeah, let's uh, not uh, touch that then. <laughs> yeah, I bet that. So we have track speed limits, street traffic. Actually, let's take a look at... Not this. Chulavis accrued oil, 836. I guess that's not a whole lot. What's waiting here? Over 1,200. I can't put any more trains on the line. Otherwise, I'm going to have to replace the trains that I do have. That is rather unfortunate. Come on, give me something new. I am unfortunately sad. <laughs> so we have the New Haven EP5, 140... We, we lost the 160 Plumber Narrow. An there was another 160 here. It was an electric. EMD GP9. So what is the fastest non-electric that I have available? And this. Attractive effort. Okay. 483 Kilmintons. What is the power? Power 3000.
looks like this is the hauler. Alright, well, what I might just do then... Yeah, my freight is unfortunately going to be... not paying as much if I were to convert over to one of the other trains. Because I'm getting paid on that line, or these lines... Yeah, what's the price per kilometer? I don't see a price per kilometer. What is the 3.82 K per kilometer? This one's making me 19.7 million. This one here, I almost feel like it's... Yeah, what's going on? Seriously. Go back the other way. Uh, what are you doing? Well, that would explain that. cross you over. That's only running half load, if that. Where are you going? You are going to Palm Bay Lumber next. Alright about that. Any other messes that I have to sort out? Yeah, I don't really want to go electric on this map. I really don't. Hmm. Here's a question. By trains. So if I were to go with this, this is 7.49 million. Its running costs are 1.25 million. I can't even tell what the running cost of the Alco is. Um, running costs are 4.91 million. That's with uh, 16 of the stake cars. Um, 200k a year, so 16 of those, that's $3.2 million for running costs. And so that's $1.6 million. Or one point, yeah, one point, 
one point one point five million dollars for the Uko PA or PB. Okay, and so this is one point two five million, so it's cheaper. 113 kilometers an hour. Power, 360. So I'm losing power. Power rating is mediocre. So if I were to run one of these and stay cars. How many is this? Bother. Uh, so power rating is good. Actually, the top speed of this is only 160, so. Hmm. Weight is 432 tons versus. Weight 177 tons. What is the weight of the Alco? I think it's probably heavy. All right, well, actually that's 17 of those. More carrying capacity. So we have, this train is going to be cheaper to run. It has a slower top speed, so a, a slightly lower ticket price. The weight is a lot less. We got almost exactly the same length. Power, power rating is good. Loading speed 51 times. You know what? I just might do that. Run the GE C40s dash 8Ws or at least uh, our freight. Huh. Is there any way to save this and then I can just, <laughs> or no, do I have to do this automatically on all of my lines? Actually, I won't be able to use that train specifically because, or to clone. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. All right, Patterson planks. Let's do it. And we want 17 of these. We want 17 of them. We are going to replace now for 11 million. There are two vehicles to be replaced. Purchase price, purchase costs exceed the sales profit. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. How, how does this compare? Mediocre. Yeah, I bet that. All right. GE. And then we want 17 of these. Where's the place now? 34.5 million. Let's just let things tick. We will do our Columbus food. It's losing me money.
Harrison Clump of Steel. We're going to upgrade this. Up to 310. Place now. Question. Right now, this is this line here 3.82 million or 3.82k 3, 3 per kilometer. Whereas this one, wow, 1k, 1.12k. Lost the ticket price. Maybe it'll run smoother. Speed up, accelerate better, so it'll be better in the long run. Yeah, that's the thing. All right, we are going to change things up here. We are going to do the Columbus Tampa fuel. Tank cars, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17. Place now. Columbus Fu- Food. It hasn't been making me money. That's rather unfortunate. And this one's a box car. Three hundred and fifteen. Yes. This is a These are all gondolas, right? Yep. All right, so I need one of these and how many running how many are running right now? 16 of them. 9 10 11 12 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, replaced now, $52 million. <laughs> uh, let's uh, do the same thing with this one here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Replace now, another 17.8 million. Let's let that run. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it is 1999, no new trains. Place now twenty three point four million dollars. And now two, three, four, five. Oh, bother. <laughs> um, we need tankers. 17 replace now another 29.7 million dollars down to 1.1 billion dollars 
which could be a problem. And this train is just sitting waiting. Some gondolas, one, two, three, four. Seventeen, we are going to replace now. Anything else to upgrade? Waco fuel. Might as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Thirty-four million dollars. Uh, this is stone slag. It is April, nineteen ninety-nine. What line am I on right now? Gondolas. 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Replace now. Henderson. Tampa Goods. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. We're going to replace now sixty-three point five million dollars. <laughs> well, these are making some decent money. Although that said, they could definitely use. Placement. GE. Why is this one just sitting here? Uh, yeah, but that. Um, so this is goods. Replace now. All right, um, what are we waiting for exactly? Why are you on this side? about that at this point though what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here I have just this one to replace out yeah but in the next episode what we will do is we will check to see if the next achievement I'm looking for will be happening it is of course called the antique that one has been taken care of. It is... I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Um, plus the year 2000. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Antique, keep a train built before 1900 running until the year 2000. And we have had one running until the year 2000. I have not sent it back to the depot at all. And it's somewhere on the Tampa to McKinney run now. Yeah, about that. Anyway, at this point in time, I'm going to take a break here. We are down to $963 million after those massive upgrades to our freight trains. Get a bit more power. The power rating is better than what it was. So maybe that will improve things like the hill climbing, stops and starts. Well, stops, starts mostly. 
but thank you for watching this episode of Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. As always, have a good day.